Good day. I'm Clive and welcome. Looking at the ground sheets for the Alton little camp chair here. Now, same as the chair, there's a different variations of this out there. Very similar, same idea. And the idea of the ground sheet is to fit on the legs of your chair to stop it from sinking into the sand or into the soft ground where you are or reduce how far it will sink down. It will sink down enough to sit on the bottom of this. Now I think this looks like it's made out of the same material as the chair here. I think I've got on my phone what it's made out of. Let's quickly have a look. It says Ground sheet dimensions, 36 centimetres by 36 centimetres. Uh, nylon mesh, total pack weight 130 grams. And it includes one ultralight camp chair ground sheet. So it's just a ground sheet, doesn't come with a chair. Now, I'd let you know now that if you want to buy one of these or buy the chair, you can either go to Alton Goods which is a company that have these made, where you can buy either this on its own, the chair on its own, or buy them both at the same time. Now personally, if you can afford it, I'd buy them at the save, same time, because then you'll only have one delivery charge, so you'll save money. So getting back to this, if you saw the other video about the chair, you'll realize that I noticed a few loose threads or just untidy they hadn't been finished off properly now it's similar on this not as bad but we've got a few little threads around all the finishing off all the double stitched areas where they haven't tidied it up now that's not too much of a problem I can just get a lighter and melt them back but it's just disappointing that they turn up like that. So let's show you what we've got here. We've got some rubber feet on the bottom. So your foot of the chair will go in this point in this little pocket and that will sit on the ground to protect the actual material so it'll last a lot longer. These loops here are to enable you to hold on to something to pull it out to get your chair leg in that. When I originally saw these, I made a cock up and I didn't realize what they was truly for. I thought you had to put your foot of the chair through there, then into the pocket. But they're actually there, like I said, just to give you something to grab off, hold off and to tug. So, yeah, look, there's another, I don't know if you can see it, but there's another loose thread on that. I can't get too close to the camera, it won't focus else. And this strap here, with the buckles on, and they're not the most expensive buckles, but they do the job. And they won't be taking too much force, so they're adjustable in length. And the idea of them is where your bar goes across the bottom of your chair. That'll go over the bar, you'll click it in, pull it tight, and it'll hold the centre of the ground sheet up. So we'll get it on the chair now, and I'll show you as I do it. And you can see the feet. You've got the rubber ends on it to protect the metal and just give it a nicer finish and stop it sliding around if you've got no hard ground so much. So we want this stitch middle bit following this bar down in direction. So the first thing we're going to do is there's the pocket. I'm going to put the first one in the pocket. Nice and easy. And the opposite corner coming down. You might find it a little bit easy if you turn it this way 
and just push down on this leg a bit and it will go in easier. There it is, it's gone in. That one goes in much easier. And this one, a little bit of a push down and then it's gone. Now I didn't really need them too much, I think I just grabbed that one a little bit and gave it a tug. But that is the idea of it. So next, actually this <laughs> doesn't have to go that way. I suppose if you wanted to, you could have it that way. It depends on the ground you're on. We'll bring that around, buckle that up, and give it a slight tug. So now that's all held in place. And that's holding these on a bit, so forgive it a tighter tug, that'll make that even tighter and less chance of these coming off if you are moving around too much. But you can see it's giving a nice concave here, so you're going to get the mass in there and the forces are going to be in different directions. It's just going to stop you sinking into the ground so easy. Now. I don't have any sand here at the moment to go and test it on. And this ground is pretty hard, but that gives you the, the general idea of the ground sheet for the Alton camp chair. Now some people are going to say the pronunciation, Alton, Alton. I've heard people from the company themselves, one says Alton, another said Alton. So either either, it's the same company. All in all, the quality of the ground sheet or anything like their chair, you could buy these two together or you could buy them separately. It's your choice if you buy them together, like I said before, it will just save you money on delivery. So if you can afford to, it's worthwhile getting them both at the same time. Now I've got similar chairs, like I said, and I do use the ground sheets and these ground sheets are a great idea, especially here in Australia with the sandy beaches and beautiful beaches should I say they are even a lot of the areas like my backyard the, needs a bit of a clean up and some new grass led down but even put one of these chairs without the ground sheet it will start sinking into the soft sandy ground so they, they, they are worth it and they're a big bonus and a big positive and they say which I'm going to test now that it will fit in the camp chair bag at the same time as the chair, so you don't have to carry them separate. So let's ha have a go at that. So let's get it all taken apart under the buckle. Came off pretty easy. So drop that down there for now. Take the chair apart. That came away pretty easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the seat up and see if it works. I'm going to fold that in with it and just roll it up with the frame of the legs here. And I've got the stuff sack. Now, if you saw the last video about the actual chair itself, the actual cord here seems a little bit small, so it's restricting how wide I can lift the to uh, top of the bag open. So there's a good chance I might need to replace that with a longer piece to make it easier. Now, a little grass on it. I've rolled it up with the ground sheet inside, and this is the smaller in diameter end, so I'm going to put that in first. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to replace this cord. It's going in. But having that little extra... Probably get another inch if you extended that cord. So it'd be a lot easier else. Now that's in, as you can see, just there. There's a struggle, but it does fit. Yeah, it, 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 that because this cord being so short, it just made it difficult to get it through the top here. I had to keep rolling and working my way around, just uh, shimmying it up. But it all fits in. So that's the Alton goods, ground sheet and camp chair, more than one packet now. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it's shown you, even with a bit of my bubble, the actual ground sheets, how it works and how it's going to benefit you by having one with one of these little camp chairs. This is the ultralight camp chair they call it. Okay. If you're not already a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. Hit the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.